Why can't I speak? More coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna choke on it. Hi, hello, and welcome. If you couldn't tell by the title, today I'm gonna be showing how I install my wigs, which means how I glue my lace front to my wigs to my head. So I mentioned in the end of my wig washing routine video that I know so many people watched that I was gonna show how I adhere my lace front wigs. What I found difficult when I was looking for videos on how to glue down my wig was that they were trying to cover up their hairline with putting a wig over it. Not a problem for us. My everyday wig installation routine is only good for the day because it uses water solvent products. I haven't been wearing a wig so much for the summer because here in Canada the temperature has been scorching hot where the wigs fall off within a few hours. So my benchmark is anything above 20 degrees Celsius or the sweat from my head just dissolves the product and the wig will literally just slide off my head. I do have a routine where I use a more adhesive glue that isn't water solvent. I'll show that in another video subscribe if you'd like to see that but today I'm gonna to be showing you my everyday wig gluing application so here we go as always and if you are new to YouTube all the products I'll be using will be listed in the description below the links will be there if you want to check anything out just a little bit of information about those who are either new to alopecia or just unfamiliar with alopecia there's different styles of wigs and I've tried a few of them but the ones that I find work best for me are lace frontal wigs and those ones do require glue in order to stay on your head or they'll slide off. This is a wig that I've had for at least the last two years, maybe three, and she's in good condition. She has lace all the way from each sideburn to sideburn, and on the top of the cap, the back is weaves because she's 200 density, which means that I'm getting more hair from the back. But we're gonna set her aside for a minute. There are slight variations of this routine that I'll change up depending on the day, but ultimately these are the same steps that I'll do again and again. The first step in gluing down my wigs is using the Got To Be Ultra Glue. She's fairly used. And with this, I put it all along my hairline from where my sideburn would be to get behind my ear all the way around to the other side. A rule of thumb that I like to use for where your hairline should start is anywhere just past the wrinkles in your forehead, but it's right about there. I have gotten comfortable with using my fingers, but if you'd like, there's the option to use a spatula, a hair clip, whatever works best for you. I just like to start right at the top of the head and swipe it down to my sideburn and then up past my ears because that's where all the lace is going to go. And then the other side. I got some product on my ears and just a bit farther back than I want it to be so I'm just gonna wipe off the excess product don't want to glue my ears down drying montage I'm gonna repeat this process two to three times I would recommend doing three layers at a very thin coat rather than two layers at a thicker coat Third layer. Now that I have my third layer on, what I do while I'm letting this layer dry is prep my wig to be put on top. So what I like to do is I have the straps in the back clasped together as you have a wig for a bit longer. The straps you'll put tighter and tighter because the wig will just relax a little bit more. So they are fairly tight, but I didn't start them out on that strap. So I put it at the back of my head, that forehead though, I'll be using a rat tail comb and some alligator clips. Naturally, the hair will get stuck under the hairline, so I'm just gonna comb that out so that it doesn't get stuck to the glue and then I'm gonna pin it back with the alligator clips. I'm gonna leave a bit of hair down where the sideburn would be. Hold the lace and just pull it back and pin it back. Pull it back and pin it back. Off on the other side. This will hold the hair back while I'm trying to glue it down. If you have a little bit of baby hairs, you can pin those down with other clips as well. The ones I like to use are these flat. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The ones I like to use are these flat metal clips. And just like that right there. The third layer is dry enough now. See, it's a bit shiny, but it is tacky. Boop. Tacky means if you put your finger to it, it'll stick. I don't encourage tapping it because then it's putting more oils on the glue but for the purpose of this video I just wanted to show you what tacky looks like. The next product I'll be using will be the Gotta Be Glued Lasting Free Spray and this just creates an even tackier layer for the wig to stick to. So I like to just spray this in a tray, a container. Right now I'm using an eyelash tray. Spray it in there and after it's 
cools down a bit, creates a bit of a gel-like texture. And I just spread that along the glue as well in the section that I'm going to put the wig down on. Before I go ahead and commit to where I want my lace to go, I'm just gonna creep it up a bit closer and line up my sideburns. So I'm going to tuck the wig right in front of my ear so they look like wings. And that's also a part, if you wanna start with one side, you can pin this part back. So you can start on one side so that the hair doesn't get glued to the other. It's now that jelly texture. Maybe more of an oil texture. And I'm gonna put this on top of the glue in this first section. Wait a few seconds, once again with my rat tail comb, and then I'm going to just press it onto the lace. Three, two, one, go. It's so difficult not to get hairs underneath, but trust me, it takes practice. And what I like most about the rat tail comb is it just gets in between the hair at different parts, so you can really just press the lace in all over. As quickly as possible, I'm not gonna go ahead with around the head. As I'm going section per section, it gets more and more difficult to make sure that I'm putting on the free spray on the glue. I use a spatula to make sure it's flat enough to fit underneath the lace. I'm just gonna pin it up. Shit looks a little bit crazy right now, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Now that my lace is laying flat on my skin, I like to use a toothbrush just to really wiggle in there and make sure the lace is stuck to the scalp of my head. It can wiggle in between all of the individual strands of hair and make sure it's laying on there. I don't know where I got this tip from. And then I just sweep the hair back. Using the toothbrush, it's easier to tell where the lace isn't laying flat on my skin, and I can go in more with the free spray with the spatula to lay it on there. brings brushing your hair to a whole different definition. Taking the front pins out, I still have the back ones in. Actually, I think I might readjust them, just a moment. At this point, it is important not to tug on the hair too much because it is setting, so try not to pull too much. I'm going to pin my hair up again using a regular clip, and what I'm gonna do now is take a knee-high sock. This is the only one I had, and I'm going to tie this around my hairline, just sink the lace into my skin and into that glue. covering my ears so I can't hear as much anymore. This looks a bit crazy. See those videos of other people doing this and they look so elegant like, ooh, yeah. I'm just like, I've got a striped tube sock on my head. Deal with it. So I'll let this stay on for about five, 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to untie this. Whew. Going back in with the rat tail comb, doing a quick gentle brush can see that a lot of the hair will get glued to the lace or the wig. And I do like to go in gently, but if some of them are being a bit more stubborn, I just use the toothbrush again and that just unsticks them. Brush in my hair, brush in my hair. Oh, that hair decided it was done. I'll do a little bit of a tug test on different areas just to make sure it's really on there. Can you see that tug? Tug, tug, tug. Tug, tug, tug. And now I can take the rest of my hair down. At this point, it should be adhered to the skin strong enough so that I could do any styling that I would like. Combing, brushing, adjust the back strap a little bit. I never really know how to style hair. I never did before when I had natural hair and now that I have to wear a wig, now I'm like, I don't know. Often at times I'll just leave it down like this and I'm happy. I will bring the clip with me if I need to just clip it back and I have a 
one year old. So that's the extent of my hair styling. It's a clip. Cause let's be honest, if I had natural hair and I'm a mom, I would probably just have mom messy bun constantly. Let's be honest. If you have any other tips that you think that I should add to my routine, please feel welcome to comment them below. I would love to see other things that have made their hairline look more natural. I should know that I haven't tried to do baby hairs. It doesn't create the look that I'm looking for. And that's it for today. Bye. So it's actually the end of the day. I wanted to show how I take off the wig really quickly. It's 10 hours later or so, and the wig is really kept up just with using this process. She was really on there today. I'm very proud of her. For removing my wig, I like to use a hair dyeing brush that I got from my local beauty shop. And I also have the tub and it's full of water. And all I do is wet the brush and go around the hairline. And because this product is water solvent, it'll come off so if you could see before, I was pulling fairly hard on my wig and it was really on there. I'm shocked that this water is actually taking it off so easy. I do use a lot of water just so that the product gets nice and saturated and it's easier to remove off the wig. Right now it is completely off my head. All I'm doing is taking off as much product as I can using the brush so it's easier to clean. And I showed you the water before. This is it now. Disgusting. So just slide it back. And then I do have more residue left on the wig. So if you watch my wig watching video, once again, not very many did. I'm up to this many views. All I do is take the toothbrush again and brush it off. So this is it before, and this is the wig after. So it's not 100% clean. You can still see some glue in there, but it's clean enough to the point where I can reuse it. Last but not least, it is important to store on some sort of stand like this and then I just brush it out so that it dries nicely, just like that. And if you'd like, you can always pin it down. As always, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.